Hello race fans and welcome to the RMS Racing Group IndyCar GP Series. We're here for uh, round number two here at Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache, also known as Interlagos. Uh, it's a little warm out there today, uh, 78 degrees, winds at 4 miles an hour. Uh, track temperature is uh, 102 degrees. And the guys have just finished uh, qualifying, and so we're going to um, take a look at the qualifying results uh, before they uh, take off and get this show on the road. On the pole, we have Michael McCoy, Chris LeClaire starting second, Gavin Stewart uh, starting third, Wilson Nito uh, fourth position, Doug Doucette uh, fifth place, and Tony Rice starting in sixth position. Waiting that cars are coming down on the uh, field now. The guys are gritting up here. Waiting for the green lights to come out. And we have a green flag and we're racing here at Interlagos. Boy, and Keto, boy, he just jumps right to the front there. Wilson Nito right into P1 going into turn one. I think he might have caught folks napping there just a little bit. Michael McCoy trying to uh, keep pace there. Chris Leclerc right on his tail as well. Nito uh, already over a half second ahead of McCoy. Boy has now a little breathing room between him and the player. Oh, and McCoy goes around in the grass. Uh, fortunately, there's a lot of runoff area here at Interlago, so uh, not too many uh, opportunities to run into a wall, which is a good thing. Uh, finds himself in uh, fourth position. Now, it looks like uh, uh, Doug Doucette and... Um, Stewart did not start the race. I don't know if they were having a problem or not, but uh, they were unable to uh, uh, make the start of the race. McCoy now is uh, in uh, fourth position. Oh, and he's going around at turn one and uh, got to get those tires up to temp. He was uh, closing in on Rice there a little bit, but uh, now he's a little further back. Uh, a little bit more work to do. It's a long ways to go, uh, though. We're only on lap two of 25. Meanwhile, your leader, uh, Wilson Nito, he's uh, pulled out to over just about a two-second uh, lead over uh, Chris LeClaire here. Making his way through the interior part of the uh, course. Leclerc, he's uh, trying to close in, close down that two-second gap. He's got a com comfortable gap to, uh, from him to Rice. Tony Rice currently in uh, third position. <coughs> and Michael McCoy is trying to close down that gap now just under eight seconds. Got through that turn one cleanly this time. Now just, there's Rice in the distance there, uh, about six and a half seconds down the road.
further up the field. Uh, Chris Leclerc, he's uh, hasn't been able to close in on Nito. In fact, Nito's opened up an even wider gap now, almost three and a half seconds. Wilson Nito uh, now starting lap number four of this 25 lap event. And there was Leclerc. Oh, and Leclerc goes around on turn one. That turn one can be a little tricky. Now Leclerc finds himself almost 10 and a half seconds behind Nito after that spin. And McCoy uh, did get by Rice, and he's about 10 seconds uh, behind Leclerc. McCoy trying to close the gap to Leclerc. And there's Rice in the uh, fourth position. Wilson Nito continues to lead here as you get ready to start lap five. Let's take a look at the uh, the lap time history between uh, Nito and uh, and let's see uh, Leclerc uh, Leclerc here. Well, lap one, uh, Leclerc was 1.9 uh, slower, just over a half a second slower the next time. And, you know, before we, uh, we're going to stop looking at that for a second, because for some reason, uh, not sure what happened, but uh, Leclerc went into uh, first position. Oh, and he's getting a little, they're both getting a little wobbly there. Going through that interior section. Chris Leclerc trying to hold on to that lead position. Catching a lot of that rumble strip there. Using every bit of the track he can. And a drag race down to the start-finish line here. Nito trying to get a draft on Leclerc. Leclerc is going to uh, lead that lap, though. Now lap six of 25. He holds it together through turn one. Nito's right on his tail, too. Might try to make a pass here before the next turn. They're going side-by-side -side drag race. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Who's going to get there? Nito's trying to get the position. Leclerc is going to concede for the moment. Great racing here. Now he took that corner a little uh, to the inside there and uh, Nito would almost ran wide kind of tiptoeing through these uh these inner turns here some of those turns are uh, in that interior section are deceptively uh tricky there it kind of looks straightforward but uh i wouldn't say they're exactly off camber but you don't have a whole lot of grip going through there and you, you almost have to tiptoe through there continues to lead the way starting lap seven here the player trying to keep pace now it's uh, about three tenths behind now the 
McCoy is trying to get to the fight, but he's uh, he just about, oh, about nine and a half seconds back. Oh, and now uh, the player came up beside there trying to see if he can make something happen there. And, oh, and Nito, he gets off and gets a little squirrely. That's all Leclerc needed. It seems that that interior portion of the course, if you uh, apply enough pressure, you just may uh, get the guy uh, unsettled. Chris Leclerc will lead lap number seven and got a huge gap on Nito. Almost one and a half seconds. Well, Sonito now trying to play catch up. And McCoy is closing the gap now. He is uh, just into the seven seconds uh, uh, gap now between the, uh, him and the two front runners. There's Nito just going around the turn there. Nito looks like he's starting to close in on Leclerc once again. Oh, and Le uh, Nito goes around again. <clears throat> Just a little too hot going through there. And that gave Leclerc all kinds of breathing room. He's going to have to regather himself here and... Uh, just pushing a little too hard in that middle uh, section there. McCoy is only two seconds behind now as well. He has Nito in his sights there. Just under two and a half seconds. Nito into turn one. That can be a bit of a tricky turn as well. There's McCoy trying to close that gap. It is starting to increase just a little bit, just about two and a half seconds now. Meanwhile, your leader, Chris Leclerc, he's uh, just over a five-second lead now. It's kind of fluctuating uh, between f uh, five and then the very high fours. Boy, he's still getting a little shaky going through that interior portion of the circuit. Grip levels aren't the greatest trying to get those rear tires to hook up. Nito now is within uh, four seconds, all getting close to four and a half seconds behind now. There's Leclerc and there's Nito. Followed by McCoy. Everyone getting down through turns one and two. Pretty darn good. Back to our leader, uh, Chris Leclerc. Now, Nito is, uh, that gap is continuing to come down. We'll go ahead and look at that lap summary again here, uh, compare between uh, Leclerc and uh, Nito. And now we're not showing, uh, let's see, it's not showing. Uh, Comparison there. Let's see if we can bring that up. There we go. That's what we're looking for. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, Leclerc uh, faster, of course, on uh, lap five. He's uh, Nito is faster on lap six. Uh, it's kind of going back and forth, laps nine and ten. 
uh, Nito was quicker, one and a half seconds and uh, over half a second uh, on the last lap. So definitely uh, starting to close in a little bit here. Let's take a look at the sector times. Nito a tenth quicker uh, in uh, sector one. And okay, now it's showing McCoy second. Uh, something happened. Okay, it, we're getting reports that Nito has crashed again. Let's see if we can see what happened there. There's Nito. He was running second. Oh, and he got a little bit of curve. Oh, hard into the wall. Oh, and that just took the whole nose off the car. There goes McCoy going by. And I don't know if he uh, decided, looked like he might uh, drive it back to the pits maybe, or maybe not. Maybe he's, he may be deciding to retire. He's not uh, moving too quickly to get back to the pits. Wilson Needham. Pulling her over to the side, getting out of the way. And that that looks like that will be it for uh, Nito. And he is uh, in the pits now. He's towing back to the pits. He, he may retire the car, though, if the, the, event, if the uh, damage is uh, too extensive. I do believe they have fast repairs, but uh, by the time he gets it, it's going to take about two minutes. And yeah, they, he just... Uh, Take it behind the wall there, so Nito is out. And that leaves uh, Leclerc, McCoy, and Rice on track. Chris Leclerc, your leader. McCoy, he's in uh, second position. Third place, Tony Rice. Uh, he's kind of struggling out there today. He's quite a way, he's almost uh, over half a lap down to the other uh, guys running. But uh, he is in third position at the moment. I guess it's not where you start, where you finish. Rice tiptoeing around that first turn. As you can see on the track map, uh, he's uh, Leclerc is about, I'd say maybe a, a, a third of the uh, length of the track behind him, and he, I'm sorry, Leclerc is in front of him. My my bad. He's uh he's already a, a lap down, I believe. Now, now that is McCoy. That's McCoy behind Leclerc and uh, Rice. He's that uh, blue dot up there on the track. So yeah, he's about. Uh, He's still about a half lap uh, behind uh, Leclerc. Speaking of which, there he is. Now on lap 13 of 25. You're watching the RMS Racing Group IndyCar GP Series Season 1, round number 2 here at Interlagos. Leclerc now with a, a healthy lead over McCoy. And that's an 18 seconds, uh, 18 second gap. I didn't, uh, I don't see any reports where McCoy uh, spun. Leclerc is just opening up that gap just a little bit. Now at this point, everything would continue as is until unfortunately on lap 14, uh, McCoy had a spin hard into one of the walls there, severe damage to the front of his car. Uh, he tried to struggle back uh, to the pits and uh, it was, uh, the car was kind of messed up, hard to steer and uh, it was almost impossible uh, to get back there without getting a tow, but uh, he tried to make the best of it. And uh, of course in the process, uh, that did allow uh, Rice to catch up and move into second position and that's uh, pretty much how they finished um, 
And there's there's your uh, winner, Chris LeClaire, uh, pulling in uh, for the uh, podium uh, shot there. Followed by Rice and Michael McCoy. And so that uh, gave you the, the final results. Uh, Chris LeClaire, your winner. Tony Rice, uh, second. Michael McCoy, third. Gavin Stewart, um, I'm sorry, Wilson Nito, uh, fourth, Gavin Stewart, fifth, Doug Doucette, uh, uh scored his uh, uh, sixth position. And that just about did it uh, for the race here at uh, Interlagos. And uh, we hope you all enjoyed the race. And uh, we'll see you back here again for round number three at uh, Monza. For everyone here at Rice Motorsports TV, we want to wish you a pleasant evening. <laughs>